I say what ho, chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows, and I dare say we are now here once again in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate to show you this time how to defeat the rather tough Celtus boss, you'll see. Most certainly, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate recently just come out on the 3DS, and lots of people haven't played this game before. That's right. It's been very popular in Japan, and so what we're going to do is hopefully show you how to defeat the bosses, because it can be rather tough, can't it? It can be quite tough. Now, first things first fails, let's take a look at our status. That's on the start menu and go right over to status there as you can see. Now Anna in this case our fighter is equipped with a long sword and she has a defense right now of only six. Now that defense value is very low and because this boss is quite tough, he's the first big monster you're likely to face inside this game, yes. you're going to want to bump that defense up by a bit in order to give yourself a fighting chance. You will most certainly and of course in this game Monster Hunter 4 as I said extremely popular in Japan just coming out over here, what you've got to remember is you can't just go out on the battlefield, just rush out there and just hit the thing and, and kill it as you can in some other games. Indeed, everybody. So, first things first, fails for the quest itself, you'll need to speak to the street cook a couple of times and take on the quest where he starts talking about the delivery boy because he's stuck, you'll see. Now, right. a monster named Celtus is blocking the road. Now, you may need to do one of his custom quests first in order to unlock that, and well, once, of course, you've done that quest, you can unlock the Celtus quest that we're doing right now, which is, in fact, as I said, the first big monster in the game. Most certainly, I was just going to ask you that, so this is the first main monster in the game. That's right, if you right. succeed this quest, the level of ingredients of that particular street cook will increase. Now before we go out, fellows, you're going to want to go and see the man, the blacksmith over here, and start doing some basic upgrades to your weaponry and character set. You most certainly well, are. Well, armor set, actually. Well, yes, your armor set, yes. You'll no. have to do that, because as I said, you can't just go out there and smash and bash. No. You've got to first think, strategize, exactly. and prepare. That's right. Now, in this case, we're using the longsword, particular, in this particular case, rather. This weapon is very effective because it does good damage whilst allowing you to move around quickly, and it has a rather jolly good special move, too, which you can unleash with the R button. Now, in this case, we're going to change over and acquire the bone. Now, this is just called a bone, that's all it is. Right. That is the weapon we're going to acquire. Now for that you will need, let's see, uh, two Monster Bone S's, you can get those from Jaggy, and also one Jaggy Hide, so quite a low cost there for a, a decent upgrade of 40 damage up to 231 damage from the original 198. Right, so uh, just for those uh, fresh to the game and uh, haven't played it before, when we say Jaggy, yes. we're talking about they're small monsters that you can go out and do on a little quest and knock them out and get bits from them, you can sort of carve them up and get pieces from them, bones or whatever, yes? That's right, of course, right. those small purplish monsters, That's so right, yes. we're going to increase our attack power, as you can see once again, 198 goes up to 231, and we get a bit more sharpness there. If you'll see the bar with the colours in it, the more to the right the bar is, in other words, the more of the colours on the right-hand side you have, yes. the better it is. You don't want the red and orange if you can avoid it. Most certainly you don't. So you may say, well, well hang on, game Jam, but I thought you were going to show me how to kill... Well, yes, we are showing you how to kill the big bad monster, but of course, you have to do this first. If you don't do this, you'll be sorry, I Most say. Certainly. Now, also, we're going to upgrade our armour. Now, this particular set of armour is called the alloy set. As you can see, it consists of five pieces of alloy shaped armor or alloy colored, quite yes. shiny, and also it's going to bump our defense up from one per piece to eight per piece. That's our massive eight defense per piece of armor, which will take us up to around about 40 defense in total from six. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so we got an upgrade there with the armor. That's right. I'm going to start buying this now, but be careful, fellows, because on your game, you're going to have to do a bit of item fetching first. That means you won't just be able to bolt straight into the blacksmith and buy all this stuff, as you can see. What you'll have to do is you'll need to acquire lots and lots of macolite ore and earth crystals in particular, along with a couple of small monster bones. Now, in order to get yourself some macolite ore, I highly recommend playing the quest Den Mothers over and over again, and simply going for the red ore rocks, which you can find scattered through the world. The faster you reach the ore rocks, the more of this macolite ore you're going to get. Ah, I see. For your armor set, you see. Most certainly. So, yes, so to build up your armor and the materials, to build your things, etc., as we said there, pop out there on, on the quest, hack away at the ore, there's a little pickaxe, you can actually mine the ore, and you'll get different pieces and things from it, bring it back here, store it in the chest, and then you're away, they can go to the, you know, to the chap over there we've just seen, and make your things. And look at her now, she's very proud of that armor set, yeah. it's quite a shiny new metal set, and actually just while she's flaunting there, let's have a look at her status now, she's got 56 defense, that's huge, that's, much, that's much big. higher than before, Lord. and also her attack has gone up to 231, so this was something that was well worth doing. It's most certainly, it was, was indeed, of course, we didn't show you going out getting all the 
little quest and things because we thought you, you wouldn't necessarily want to see that, but you have to do it anyway. You'll have to do that if you want to find yourself this set. It also gives you the very useful skill of Defense Up, which gives you a defense boost, again very handy for this, this boss, plus a little bit of a windproof skill there as well, which can be useful. Right, it's handy. Right. So, without further ado, fellas, it's time to embark on our quest and get cracking on this jolly Celtus. So, okay. let's select that quest from the list, as you can see here, the Stinking Celtus. That was the quest given to us by the cat. Now, right. if we bring the Celtus' horn, we can also get a small sub-quest reward there too. Okay. Yes, indeed. Thank you, good mom. Now, without further ado, let's go to the uh, the cook cat here and always eat before you go into battle. Right, so, so you can eat here then. What yes? should we have, old chap? Um, uh, let's... Moss pork, I think, and cross bread. They'll give it a nice little attack boost there. An moss attack... pork and cross bread. Yes, yes, moss pork and cross yes, bread. Yes, an attack bad. S boost, as you can see. And we're going right. to scarf up this food quite happily. The, the cat's going to do the cooking, I think. Isn't this will, of course, serve the purpose of increasing our attacks so we can unleash more powerful blows. One of us is cooking up. We were just banging the old knives and forks, waiting for it there. That's right. Look at her go. And Wolf straight in, down. no messing. And she looks quite good in that armor set, I have to say. She most certainly does. No knives and forks needed, it would seem. No, just use the hands there. That's the attack has been increased, and the attack actually now stands at 240, so it's gone up even higher. Right, so remember that. You can increase your, uh, your defence, etc., and your attack also by eating, amazingly. That's right. Now, just before you go building out on your uh, grand excursion here, you'll want to put away any excess items that you may have in your item pouch, as you can see I'm doing that here, by visiting the blue box. And again, uh, just before you go out on the quest, I want yes. you to also go readily equipped with things like potions to restore your health. We'll have five green potions there. We'll also take some regular herbs, which are quite useful. They don't restore much health, but they're handy in a pinch, you'll see. Most certainly. Now, as we just said there, yes, do indeed go to that box and grab those potions, the herbs and things. We'll you also will... take some whetstones there, rather handy for keeping your weapon sharp. Indeed, you'll need those to recover the, the, uh, the herbs and things because the thing will knock you and bash you about. And if you don't have any of these things to heal you, you'll get knocked out straight away and be back here again. Without further ado, fellows, then, with our items in hand and our armor equipped, let's get on this quest and show this celt as a thing or two. Right, we show them the moves. That's right, we shall. So, of course, you're going to go into the quest line here now and in order to actually find this monster, you'll need to head to a certain area of the world. Okay. He'll give you a little speech there and tell you about camera targeting, but don't worry, I'll cover that soon as well. Yes, yes, so he's we'll... taking back the target cam and all the rest of it, I'll tell you, that's monster right. hunter. That's right, I think that's how he speaks, anyway. Something like that, anyway. So let's get over to the right. chest here, and like, uh, could you stand up, please, Anna? Thank you very much. Right. There we are. We'll acquire from the supply box the map here, also the first right. aid meds, the rations to keep our stamina high, and the mini whetstones. Those okay. are very useful items. So the whetstone, you can sharpen up your weapon that's uh, right. during the fight. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, if you don't get knocked out. Now, you'll also be able to see on the bottom screen, fellows, your map of where you currently are. In this case, we're at the bottom left where, and we want to head to Area 7. Right, Area 7, right, okay. So, I'm just going to head along there now. Now, if you run low on health or rations at any time during the yes. boss fight, it's very important that you make use of a ration or a potion. A green potion, that is. You can acquire either of those by looking at your bottom screen. There's a touch screen option there. In fact, I'm going to show you that now, just after this section. Yes, let's we'll, have a look at that. We'll waltz through here, and then I'll show you uh, by changing the mode here. You can see on the bottom screen there, we yes. have the option to use a first aid med or a ration. Right. And just by tapping those two icons, you can use one right away when your weapon's put away. Oh, but you right. have to have your weapons sheathed first. You can't oh. just use it straight away. So you've got to put a weapon away to use one of these, but you can ha rather handily just tap the bottom screen there, you yes. decide, to automatically uh, you know, give her a potion or whatever. That's right. Now, in this right. case, we're heading towards Area 7 quite fast. It's just over this ridge of sorts. Now, we're going to have our potions on the ready here by using L and pressing Y to skip through the available items or cycle through them. Right. In this case I'm going to set it to a potion, which means that when my weapon is sheathed at any time I can press Y and use one of those potions to get some health back. Okay, wonderful. There's a bit of ore over there. You could take that if you wanted to as well, I suppose. Most yeah. certainly. And you can see these little monsters here, we're just leaving those running straight past them so they don't muck around with our health, etc. Now it's a cutscene.
ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Celtus. As you can see, the very chap himself before us. He is in fact a nasty fellow. Now, this particular creature has a number of special attacks he can use. One of them is he'll try to charge you like he's doing right now. Yes. If he does that, dodge out of his way okay. using the B button to roll. Right. I'm going to give you more tips as the fight progresses. Now, right. if you'll take a look at the bottom screen again, we're just going to run around and avoid him here, you can see an icon in the bottom left there. Now, tap that icon and that will happen. You, ah. of course, have the crosshairs on him. Press the L button now and you can automatically see him when it, wherever you are just by tapping L there like that. Right, so it's very... He's got stuck in the wall, so let's close in and use that opportunity to give him some good attacks here. Right, most certainly, yes. So it's very important you do that. You can just tap the left hand button there, left hand uh, thing there, and you're straight in, bang, you can see him straight away. And that's what you need just to do. Just by tapping L. Now, there's... Yes, that's right. Yes. There's another one of his attacks there. He's going to attack you with those nasty globules of, well, uh, sack fluid or some sort of... Slime! Nasty, slime, basically. And whenever you get hit by those, it'll drop your defense, so try to avoid them. Poor old Bertha the cat. He's already been hit, as you can see there. Bertha's taking some right old stick, isn't he? Now, we're going to try to avoid his slime once more, and the, the object here is to attack when he gives you an opening after his attack. He's right. very, very fast, but if you wait for him to stop moving, in this case he's going to charge, so let's just follow him in. If you wait for him to stop moving and close in on him, you can get him some good damage while he's just standing there, you see. You can, well, flying there, or well, floating, uh, floating there. Yes, indeed. Now, yes, depending can. on the strength of your weapon, you may be able to also get a knockdown, which uh, sends him crashing down to the ground rather unceremoniously, and allows you to do a lot more damage in the process. It most certainly does, and the thing to remember no. is, of course, ooh, yes. decrease the weapon there, but we'll begin to lose some of the sharpness of the weapon. Exactly. We now, we have charged the red bar at the top left, as you'll be able to observe there. Now, press the R button there, repeatedly, to unleash her nasty spirit attack, and in this case, I've just missed completely. Oh, oh and no. taking a stab. And we've taken that. a hit for our for our troubles there too. Now avoid his charge once again. I think no, he's going for the the attack attack. I mean, he's going like on birth right. of the cat there. And as you as you're doing this, just keep an eye on your health bar at the top in the green there, because if it gets too low, you're going to need to use use a potion or whatever or a herb quickly to get your life back. That's right. Keep tapping L to see where he is. He's going for the sack attack once more. Now also something of note here: when your weapon sharpness decreases, as it said, it's going to actually decrease the damage you do with each attack. So once again, wait for him to stop and go in for the attack there like so. Right. Now the combo I'm using here is XXA, XXA, etc. and so forth. Right, okay. Over and over again. So that particular combo with this weapon is quite effective. Now, let's wait for him to do his attack, and when he's decided what he's going to do... Oh, no, we've left the area, my word. Oh. So easy to do that in mid-battle. So you've yeah. been pushed out... Yeah, exactly. So if you, if you find yourself with a back against the wall, as we did then, you just be pushed out the area, as you saw. Exactly. A rather nasty move from him there. He sweeps us over. We're going to wait for him to stop and then unleash our R-button special attack, if we can. Most certainly. Now, I think it's important to say there that if you do get kicked out of the area... Wait a moment. I think he's moved off. Is I, he? He's moving off. No, no, no. He is not... No, he's gone, I say. He's completely gone. Now, sometimes in the middle of the fight, the monsters will do this. They will. They'll just disappear on exactly. you. Exactly. You've got to go and find them, but I was just to say... He's that, over there, look. Yes, if he does move, or if you move out of an area, then come back to this one, you, it's okay because you'll still hold damage you put on him. That's right. He doesn't lose, of course. He, uh, he doesn't regain, rather, himself. In this case, we're going to run back to the previous area just briefly now because we have an orange status weapon. We're going to select the whetstone here from the item uh, rotor there and press the Y button to use that and sharpen up the weapon like that. That. There she goes. Yes. Now, that will, of course, restore you back to maximum sharpness, which means you do maximum damage. Most certainly, yes, it will. And as I was just about to say uh, pre uh, earlier, yes. the monster doesn't actually have a health bar, so it's not no. it, it, it's not traditional in the way it's done. No. You don't know how much health he's got. You just he keep hacking away at him. That's and right. And they are notoriously strong, these monster hunter bosses. They're very, very tough, and or sometimes monsters. they can take a long time to fell them. Yeah. Now, also, we are now inside an area where we have lots and lots of these ridges. I'm just going to wail on this chapel I'm talking. Oh, nasty hit there. Wait for the opportunity, avoid his attacks using the B-roll and go in for the strike there. He yes. really is going for it. Oh yes, now, he'll try everything to get out of your way. He will, I just dodged him there as you saw. And he's, he's going high now, but he's coming back down for a landing. Now, should you get the chance, you'll need to do a rolling attack to land on his head and knock him over. But let's see if we can do that. If you roll off an edge and then press X in midair, you'll do a midair strike. Really? And sometimes, huh? if you land on top of the monster with that strike, you can actually mount them. Okay. He's dishing out some punishment here, I have to say. He's dishing out let's some Let's go for that now, shall we? Let's see if we can. Uh, no, he keeps moving around. It's it's quite a tough to predict what they're going to do next. It is. Now watch your health there. As you can see, our, the health is getting low. That's right. But in this case, we are also just uh, using the, the the opportunity created here by that damage to lay, lay in some damage on him. Here he comes again. My word. Here he comes again, yes. X roll off the edge like that and go for an attack. There we go. A good Stop hit. Okay. A mid-air attack. We roll off with B and attack with X. Now in this mode, you, as she's saying there, you've mounted the monster. Right. Now what that... Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. You use a jumping attack on a certain part of the body. In this case, the upper part. Right, okay. 
Okay, yes. Now, when the thing is mounted, you can hammer the X button as she's saying, but you mustn't do it when the bar turns red, otherwise it'll throw you off. Ah, right. Okay, when the bar turns red, you have to hold down the R button and stop stabbing, as she's explained here. So, okay. in this case, we're just going to, oh, the, the bar's gone red, hold down the R button, and when it goes green again, we're going to attack with X, with all our might, oh. like so, attack, attack, yes, attack, don't, don't get that bloody thing. Him. Right, Stop. there we are, we're, we're attacking like crazy. Hold yes. the R button when she turns red like that. Oh, yes. And it's going to go green again, I think. There yes. we are, it's a good kill, it's a good it's, kill. It's, it's not a kill, actually, it's a fell, I suppose. Oh, it's a good fell, yeah. Now you can attack him freely for a little while whilst he's down and floundering around on the floor there. So we're can. going to use our special sword attack here once we get it. Unfortunately, our power's decreased again, but let's unleash the R button. Belting the life wild out swing him. like that. And he's still in! It's a good hit, it's a very good hit. And yeah. the weapon is, of course, now on level 2 of, of efficiency there with a white glow around it. Yes, so indeed. This is quite handy. Let's avoid his attack. Going for the counter there. He's, yes. This is going quite well so far. Really he's laying into him. You can see he's still in, you see. He is still in, that's right. They don't right. just go down these monster hunter monsters. No, they don't. And after the mount attack, he's actually lost his ability to fly, as you may have noticed. And now yes. he's in trouble because he's on the floor. So let's unleash the swing once more. Goodness me. Oh, Heavy yes. damage there. Heavy We're damage. Then, we now have yellow status on the blade, which means it's even more powerful. Let's not let him get away, though. Okay, let's capitalize on the opening. He's got his flying bit. Now, where's back. he gone? He's going to take off, isn't he? I, I can't see him. He has disappeared. He's gone. So he's tra he's flown to another area, or flee to another area. Fled, in this case. Fled, we can, flee. Yes, let's use our ration here with the tap on the bottom of the screen to get yes. our yellow stamina bar back. And also, I think we'll use a first aid med to get some of that health back. We took some hits back there, but we're you okay. Did, you did most certainly, yes. So now, what going to find him now. The question is where has he gone? I'm going to show you on the map once more where we are. The question is, is he in area 7, 9, 2, 3 or 8? I just don't know. Exactly. No, it won't tell you, so you have to go and find him. That's right. Ah, uh, hold on. I think he may be in this area. Right, maybe. Let's have a look carefully, shall we? Um, Where could he be hiding? You see the icon has turned to the right colour, the right shape, I mean. It has a picture of the crosshairs on this monster on right. the bottom screen. That means he's in this area. He's in the area hiding. Could he be could he have landed if he's landed there? He has landed to rest and recover on the wall. Now, okay. sadly, we can't use bombs here, but we can climb up the wall and give him a good old stab with can, our sword. We can stab him with a sword, yes, Actually, indeed. our knife. So, let's get close to him like that and use the X button upon the wall to stab this chap right in the gut. Look right. at that. Ooh, nasty. There right. we okay. go. Okay. Now, of course, we can climb down very quickly and start waiting on him once more with our weapon, like so. Yes, indeed. Right. Okay. Turn around, my dear. What are you doing there? That's it. Okay. Keep attacking whilst he's down there, Pedales, and don't let him off the hook. He's yes. in the ground now, so this is an ideal chance to attack here. Ground, so what One and two. Two good good strikes there. You now, you may have noticed, as Bertie was saying earlier, that these monsters just don't go down without a fight. You're going to have to keep attacking them over and over again, but once more he's in the wall. Let's see if we can close in and do some damage here, shall we? Yes, indeed. Right, so we're staying on the case very much, avoiding his nasty attacks. Well, actually, that one hit me there. You can run out the way with B there. You can as use well. the B button to dodge. Yes. Very handy tip there. He's going to go for his uh, ink sack attack. Oh, his uh, slime sack. We keep slashing him away there. Supplies have arrived. We've, right, we've okay. got him on the ground once more. Right, he is him. in trouble. Let's use our special R swing attack like that to give some good damage to this chap and go for the swing. There what? we are. That was a nice one. He's that was in a trouble nice now. He is in trouble. We yes. have the red option now on the blade. We have broken his horn clean off his front, oh. and therefore we've beaten the sub-quest as well. Okay, so the horn's gone, but he's still in. But don't give up, Fedios. Keep moving towards him and keep attacking him, unleashing everything you have with the weapon. Don't worry, we're going to hit him like yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. And once more, he just keeps going down. I can't help but think this chap's on the ropes now. Well, he must be after all this. I think he may be. He doesn't even have anything left in his sack. And there oh, he there goes. goes. There That's he goes. it. We have felled and slain the Seltus, chaps and chavits. certainly have, yes, indeed. That was quite wonderful. And don't forget, after you've slain the boss, like that or the monster, you can carve him to get certain items, like a shell and other rare goods used in crafting. Yes, indeed. Very very important, that, so make sure you do that part. That's right. We have an Aqua Sack, a Celta Shell. My goodness me, the rewards are coming in thick and fast here. Oh, yes, you get a lot for that. But if, if we, as we said, they don't just go down. And some of these battles against these monsters can be really long and they can really go on a long time. They go on a very long time. That is, of course, why I said about obtaining the special shiny armor she's got as well as the bone sword. Now, speaking of that bone sword, there's something else I should tell you. Yes. You may have noticed back at the blacksmiths, it had a very small bar on the right-hand side of a certain color. That means it loses its sharpness quite quickly, because the wider the bar is of each given color, the longer it takes to wear down the weapon to the next la la layer or level of sharpness, you see. Yes, most certainly. The longer it takes to go blunt, in other words. Exactly. We're just 
mining some ores there. That's right, always mine ores when you're waiting for the quest to end. It's uh, rather good there. We've now completed the quest. We Excellent. Have. We can crawl, crawl around the floor or just uh, sneak, I suppose. Uh, just for a little bit of a laugh there, I'm not sure. There we well, are. Well, yeah, that's it. So okay. after a while, it should take you back automatically, I yes. think, isn't it? It takes you right. automatically back to the uh, the main caravan, that's right. And we're going to send all the items to our item box like that. We've got lots and lots of goodies there as a reward for beating that monster. We have. Let's see what else we have here. We have monster fluid, aqua sack, and a Celtus wing. Many good items there. Okay. And good old Bertha got us some iron ore too. Good she chat. So good things picked up there from killing that boss. We got some points, monster. we got some money, we have loads of money now. And the question is, after slaying Celtus, what can you then do with the items you acquire from him? Well, that's important, yes. We'll let them know that, shall we? We've got some veggies and raw grains ingredients to be used by the cook there. That, of course, was our reward for beating the boss, as he requested. We can now get better meals from him. Most certainly, as you've seen here, that's just the first boss, and you saw how tough it was. Yes. You've really got to think, you've got to do your preparation in advance, as we showed you there. Have things ready. <laughs> Aha! Well, what were you saying there, Elche, before that? Well, I was just going to say, and of course, you may go out on another mission with the same thing and think, I'll take this boss out or monster out like I did before, and of course you won't be able to. You'll have to upgrade to different weapons, get different things, whatever, before you can take that particular one on. That's right, indeed. So you're going to have but to we'll constantly show you more, upgrade your weapons, and after doing that, you can now go on expeditions, as you may have observed there, which of course are rather useful. Now, indeed, as Bertie was saying, by constantly upgrading your weapons and items, you will find that you're able to take on stronger monsters and of course we're going to be giving you guides on more monsters with their own particular perks and uh, shall we say quirks. Some of course yeah. have nasty thunder damage, others have fire or dragon damage and you need special special types of armour to deal with each one. Most certainly and you'll need a different approach as, as we, you just said there to handle them. That's right indeed. Now we're just going to go back once more and see the man. In fact let's, let's chat to this chap just briefly, the ace cadet. He yes. did the upgrade Completius. Well, yes, yes. Completicus, I think. There we are. And of course, he's upgraded his sword and shield. Now, of course, we can do the same thing. Yes, we can indeed. Yes, that's important. Yes, you see, we're also here to upgrade. That's right. So uh, we'll just uh, skip past his blathering there. Thank you, sir. Yes, good day. All right. My yes. God, they do speak quite a lot, don't they? Yeah, they do. Let's yes, skip past him there. Okay. He gave us some iron ore. Awfully nice of him. Now let's speak to the man again. Yes, we are. Thank you, sir. It's going quite well. Yes, indeed, we have better equipment needs, that's right. right Upgrades, okay. okay. We can upgrade certain weapons and armor by using armor spheres as he's now teaching us. Yes. Okay, now you can use that, as he's saying, to upgrade individual armor equipment pieces. So, for example, go to upgrade equipment here and select the helmet there, for example, as one piece. Yes. We can spend here 84 zenny to get that to go from 8 defense up to 10, and that's worth doing. It most certainly is, yes, indeed. You're sort of upgrading yourself, getting ready for the next big fight. We'll upgrade the helmet, the chest plate, and also the van races all to 10 each from 8. That means we have a nice boost of plus 6 defense there. And also, let's go back and check our longsword options. No, we don't have any new longswords upgraded or unlocked yet. No. But we can go to the various armor sections and see if we have anything new there. Perhaps to do with the Celtus, I wonder. Oh, yes. Maybe, yes, we can make the Celtus folds if we wish, but we can't make those rather good looking things yet because we don't have enough materials. Most certainly not, if you'd no. like to make the Celtus folds, Fedales, you'll need a couple more Celtus shells in our case and one more Celtus horn. So again, the game really challenging you there to get out there and show those bosses what for time and time again. Yes, that's right. Yes, over and over. Yes, hopefully getting better each time. That's right. I, actually, our weapon and armor set is quite good. We have shiny silver armor here plus the bone, although, you know, I think our bone um, our bone sword here could do with an upgrade, really. Let's have a look at that too, shall we, just now. Okay. Let's go to the, I beg your pardon, the upgrade equipment section and we'll right. just have a look here. Ah, we can't make the large bone sword because we're going to need five monster bone S's for that and that's the name of the game. It's all about finding these pieces in the wild and then using them. No, sir. Is you have to go out on quest, kill some more monsters. It's not. It, you, it's a very, very long game, a very in depth in, in, in its the whole way it's, it actually works. It's That's right. We now have clearance for expeditions, of course, so we can access special expedition type quests, which are very different from these ones. And next up, I say, off camera, we'll be taking on the fungus run and the Kelby cure all, as well as going round the village, taking on these sort of yellow dot quests. Whenever you'd like to proceed in this game, Fedos, and you don't know what to do, take on the yellow dot quests, and they will, of course, guide you in the right direction. They will. Yes, of course, we'll do. 
do these off camera. And yes. And we'll be back again then with another monster, how to, how to defeat the next monster, whatever it might be. Another big boss, that's right, because boss. of course the small ones are not too hard to take care of. But yeah. just before we go, videos, I want to give you a bit of advice on finding those ores we mentioned earlier. Right. We don't just want to leave them out in the cold there, old chap. Okay, we won't so do that now. Let's go back to the den mothers, as I said to you before, that's what you need to do here. Right. We're just going to go straight there so I can show you on the map when to go. That's okay. the quest I advise using, because it's, it's quite easy to kill 5J. It's not too hard to find them, old chap. Well, it is, yes, indeed. And hopefully you're enjoying these as much as we have been enjoying uh, showing you and doing them. That's because right. Because we can see there's quite, you know, there's a few people who actually like this monster quest. Oh, yes. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a new game, and we think it's going to be quite popular. What do you think? Yes, I'm just going to show you here on the screen now, using the map screen on the hmm. bottom screen there, where to go. Currently, I'm in Area 1, waltzing around. Now, in order to find the blue rocks that you'll need to get this shiny armor set, and who doesn't want that, old chap? Right. You will need to head to areas 6, 4, and 7. Right, that's okay. right. I beg your pardon. No, that's, yes, it is quite right. 6, 4, 7, and even 9. I, you, you have to remember these things. You have chef. to, yes. You can head to area 6 to the left of that area, area 4, area 9, and also area 7, as I say. Right, okay. And by memorizing the exact positions of the blue rocks in those locations, you can quickly get there and acquire them before they despawn or reduce the number of items available. Right, so like a sort of good boy scout or whatever, it's a good idea when you're out in these areas just to pe take a note of where these things are so you'll yes. know you know, next time. And of course, if you don't see the blue rocks the first time, don't worry, because it's all randomised. And of course, you might see it on the next quest. Sometimes you might get no Macalite ore at all. Otherwise, other times you might get loads and loads odd. Yes, uh, you might do. But one so, thing is, if you do see it, quickly hurry over to it fast, because the, the belly stuff will despawn in front of your eyes if you don't sometimes. We're dealing here with a standard silver rock. Now, that's no good for Macalite ore. You're going to have to mine the blue rocks. Unfortunately, there's no, none in these area, but if you're in this area, rather. But if you recall last time, before we went off to see the Celtus, there was one on the right-hand side here. Yeah. Yes, yes, it was, yes. That's right, so it's those blue rocks again you want to mine. From those you can get Macalite ore, which is used to make the alloy armor set. Wonderful. And I think there, there's one, in fact, over there. There's right. one there. Let's, let's just mine that now and see what we get. One mining hit, and that gives us an earth crystal. Earth crystal. We're going to get it is random, though. Macalite ore. What do you know? Well, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Really, so so scout line. around videos, memorize the exact locations in the areas I mentioned. Once again, they are areas 4, 9, 7, and 6. And yes. then, of course, you'll have this rather shiny set in no time, and you'll be well on your way to taking on the Celtus. You most certainly will, yes indeed. Well I say, Videls, this has been a Game Chef and Bertie guide to beating the first monster in yes. Monster Hunter 4, and do come back, we'll be back with more soon, you'll know. We most certainly will, monster hunting and rah, all the rest of it. Yes indeed, she's jumping for joy, or fist pumping for joy in this she case. Be. Join us again, Videls, for more exciting monster hunting out of guys, eh? We look forward to seeing you there. Yes. Until then.